L-D-W-M-M-S-C and salute to the WMMA universe. This is your boy Coach. You're live, live, live on the Coach Show, the Coach Show Live. And that's right. Sumiko. Sumiko Inaba versus Jessica Ruiz. Man, man, man. Hey, man, look. This fight right here, these two ladies, they got after it. I'm talking about they got, up, they got after it early and they got after it hard, man. You know, hey, Sumiko. You know, she had a lot of hype behind her, man. A lot of hype behind her. And, you know, you know, when I heard of the announcement, like, she got signed to Bellator, I think maybe six or seven months ago, from what I remember. You know, I started thinking, man, okay, I wonder if she really is that good. So, you know, I've looked at some of her amateur fights, and you know what? Girl, good. She good. You know, I think her hands aren't that great, but I think where she lacks with her punching ability and different kind of things that she don't have in a stand-up, Man, she make up for it in the physical attributes a part of her game. Uh, Sumiko Inaba, she's very, very physical, extremely physical. And she's a type of fighter that she's going to fight you tooth and nails. Like, she wants to be in your face. She wants to be in the clinch. She wants to be heavy in that clinch, and she want to body you up. Okay, she's not trying to, you know, fight you at a distance. She's not trying to, you know, pity pat you to death. Sumiko uh, Inaba, she's about that action. Okay, she legit about that action. And I like this fighter. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I like this fighter. Um, Jessica Ruiz came in. You know, she, you know, had been a straw weight. And you can see the size differential, man. I'm thinking in my head, Jessica Ruiz, she's too small for this girl, man. I think Jessica Ruiz definitely, man, definitely is a, is a pure, legit straw weight. Like, girl couldn't even make the limit, man, of 125 pounds. Couldn't even really make it. She came in at, what, 123? And you look at, you know, some of her photographs, you know, she's small. And I start thinking, okay, I wonder what is Jessica going to do to really, really swing this fight in her favor? Because I had Inaba, in my opinion, I thought Inaba would win the fight because of just me seeing some of her previous fights and seeing how rough and aggressive she is. And then I saw some of Jessica Ruiz fights where Jessica, to me, she's more finesseful. You know, Jessica's going to be more apt to set you up. You know, she's going to throw the jab and then she's going to try to set you up with a right hand. That's Jessica Inaba style. Um, when the fight started, Jessica Inaba, I thought she looked actually pretty good. And, you know, I was like, you know what? This girl, Jessica, you know, she might be 36 years old, but Jessica got some talent. Like, Jessica actually do have talent. You know, and I start thinking, okay, what is Jessica going to do in this fight? How is she going to, you know, really, really use her strong points to win this fight? You see, I noticed that Sumiko Inaba, she, she's overly aggressive. And I thought Jessica Ruiz can use this to an advantage. And at first, Jessica was setting in above and hitting Jessica with a right hand. I mean, uh, she was hitting uh, uh, Sumiko with a right hand. And I'm like, okay, Jessica can keep doing this. And then all of a sudden, Jessica Ruiz went into a clinch. And I started thinking, I don't know if this is a big, good idea because, you know, Inaba, she's a big flyweight. I'm talking about she's big. She's big. She's long. And she, you know, so getting into a clinch with that kind of person who's big and strong, you know, it's not advisable. But I guess Jessica figured that her boxing, you know, her being able to box and being clinches. And, you know, I guess she figured that that would help her. But, you know, when I felt like when Inaba um, was actually dominating these positions, I felt like, you know, Jessica Ruiz could have separated and just used her boxing out in space because she was winning the stand-up battle, in my opinion. But she didn't do that. She continued to opt to try to, you know, engage in close quarters. And I just, I, I don't know why. You know, and Jessica even, you know, had a nice little leg kick. You know, that, you know, Inaba got this wide stance. It's so many things that Jessica Ruiz could have exploited. They could have sworn the fight in her favor. But um, Jessica got some skills. I think maybe if Jessica Octagon IQ get up there, like if she started figuring out, like, what to do in different situations. Jessica Ruiz, I mean, I don't know where she's been all this time, man. This girl can fight. And I'm not, I'm not saying that just to be saying it. Y'all know, I don't tell tell y'all that people can fight what I don't think even though she lost and trust me man Inaba got this fight to the ground and man it was all over okay it was pretty much when Inaba got that full amount on Jessica Ruiz that's it um Jessica continued to try to get this fight to the ground for some reason she kept trying to and you know I don't know it's, it's just ill-advisable you know like I would always tell you know I, corners need to tell their fighters look if you've done the research on this person you know don't try to take her to the ground Try to stay at a distance. Don't try to get this girl in close quarters because you're going to lose that matchup. But see, I don't know if maybe Jessica team, maybe they didn't do enough research on her. I don't know. 
but you know I, I did the research and I watched a lot of Sumiko fights and I'm like uh uh if Jessica Ruiz tried to engage this girl in close in close quarters you know she's not gonna win she's too strong um but I think this is a good learning lesson for Jessica Ruiz I, I, I really do think that you know she go back to the drawing board because she's not a bad fighter she just she put the pieces of the puzzle together but you know she's trying to put like a square piece in a circle hole and it just didn't work for Jessica Ruiz um, I mean I like the way Jessica was setting up Inaba because Inaba is aggressive so you could have made that girl Jessica could have been like the damn matador you know and Inaba could have been like a bull because Jessica at first was setting up like that I said okay yeah this Jessica Ruiz girl she nice okay and then you know it's like the fight just kind of went to hell when she started trying to you know clinch with her no 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 and in points in the clinch I thought that Jessica Ruiz had an opportunity to put a tie clinch on her to put her hands on the back of the neck of Inaba and start throwing some knees because you know Inaba was wide open for that tie clinch she was wide open and Jessica Ruiz I, I guess she really didn't know what to do in the clinch and that was my thing but you know I think Bellator they really they need to they need to continue to take a chance on Jessica Ruiz. I think Jessica Ruiz, even at her age, I think she's going to get better. Because I watched some of her fights. And, you know, I noticed that she does get better with every fight. She does get better with every fight. But um, Bellator and Scott Coker, they're going to push Sumiko Inaba. They're going to push her very, very quickly. They're going to push her very quickly. And I'm talking about she's going to move up that 125-pound ladder quickly. Because let's just think about it, man. You know, She's very popular in Hawaii. She's popular. Uh, she's young. You know, something different for Scott Coker. Because Scott Coker, I tell you what, man. They might not fight a lot. But if you're old, if you're an older fighter, Scott Coker going to give you a chance to fight. That man will give you a contract if you, he even think you can fight. But in about, you know, she's 29. So it's like, okay, she's young enough. And, you know, Scott Coker thinking about this. He thinking about, like, look, let's have a... A championship fight in Hawaii. Alima Lay McFarlane versus Sumiko Inaba. You better believe Anaba. Sorry, it's Anaba. My fault. You better believe Scott Coker got that in the back of his mind. So he gonna push this girl. He gonna move up. And I'm telling you, man, she's gonna get like a number, you know, one contender fights. But she got a lot of work to do. She got to get through a beast called Denise Kilhos. She got to get through another beast called Jillianna Velasquez. <laughs> Before she can even think about that. But expect anybody to be fighting a top 10 opponent next. You better mark my words on that. Shout out to uh, Jessica Ruiz and Sumiko uh, An Anaba. Uh, shout out to Anaba, man, for the ground and pound win. She was throwing some nasty elbows, man. And Jessica Ruiz, she turned over to the side, man. You know, Jessica ain't want no more of that work, man. Anybody gave her to get that work. But uh, I'm going to see if I can't get Jessica Ruiz on this show, man. Um, I, I, I want to talk to Jessica Ruiz. I don't know. Something about her just makes me want to, you know, like, why at 36 are you still doing this? And, you know, you're getting better, you know, with fights. But we'll see. We'll see how that works out.